Let's walk through all of the home fragrances I currently have from Harlem Candle Co. Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, but the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. And this is my ever-growing collection of the scents I currently have from Harlem Candle Co., which sits at about 10 different scents. This brand is a favorite by so many of you and for very good reason. I will continue to preach about them until every single one of you have experienced a candle, room spray, or diffuser from this brand. Many of you always leave amazing comments telling me how you discovered Harlem Candle Co. through the channel and how you can't get enough of their candles and I cannot begin to tell you how amazing that makes me feel as a creator. It's because of you I enjoy having these different types of conversations and I also give many of them away so others can enjoy a great candle burning experience. Harlem Candle Co. is one of those brands that checks all of the boxes when it comes to amazing home fragrances. Great vessels, sustainable wax, double wicks for amazing scent throw, and let us not forget the unforgettable scents. You want smooth, masculine scents? They have it. You want silky, feminine scents? They have it. Terry and the master perfumer she uses to create these scents has taken her love for jazz and the Harlem Renaissance and turned it into something extraordinary. Think about it to remember some of the most influential icons in a momentous period in Black American culture by capturing their essence inside of a scent of a home fragrance is brilliant. My absolute favorite candle from Harlem Candle Co. happens to be the Langston scent. I mean, it's one of the most timeless scents I currently have. The perfect description from one of the best jazz poets to ever live, Langston Hughes. I would classify this as a more masculine scent, but to be honest, anyone would get enjoyment from it. It has featured warm notes of nutmeg, leather, amber, and sandalwood, but there's this smooth creaminess to the scent thanks to the perfect mix of vanilla. This candle smells like pure masculine sophistication, warm, rich, and creamy. Unless they can make a new scent that can top this, Langston will remain my favorite from Harlem Candle Co. It's also a fan favorite by so many people. I always keep a backup of the Langston candle for when I run out of the one I'm currently burning. It's just a must for me. Now, if you're looking for a straightforward masculine scent, Ellington would be my highest recommendation without much of a second thought. Based on one of my favorite jazz musicians, Duke Ellington, this scent is as dynamic as his music. It gives off the aroma of a masculine cologne in my opinion. When this is burning, you get constant bursts of a vibrant warm scent with the perfect blend of bergamot, clary sage, lavender, amber, musk, and patchouli. I like to call this the perfect proper gentleman's candle. It fills the space with a nice, rich, masculine scent that makes you feel warm and comfortable. Burning Ellington is like giving someone a hug that has an amazing smelling cologne. One of the best compliments you can get is someone telling you that you smell good or, in this case, your home. On the other side of pure masculine scents of Ellington, there's pure feminine scents of Josephine. There's a soft beauty to the Josephine candle which can be said to describe Josephine Baker herself. This candle opens up with bright citrus but immediately unfolds into a soft to dreamy aroma with jasmine and rose accords. It does give off a bit of a powdery smell at times but it isn't overbearing since it's nicely blended with sandalwood, amber, and vanilla in the base. The Josephine scent is also offered in the single wick if you're looking for that nice slow burn. I can't speak for the single wick since I only have the two wick version but I will much prefer these candles with the two wicks for the best performance. And I'm guaranteed an even burn every time since the wicks will have an easier time melting the wax to the edge. Anyways, the Josephine candle is an elevated floral scent that just smells luxury. It smells like you spend your afternoons shopping at Bergdorf's. With Lady Day, I would say it has to be my favorite floral scent from Harlem Candle Co. When you see any image of Billie Holiday, you will always see white gardenia she always wore in her hair. This candle is what I would imagine that white gardenia to smell like. This is a bold white flower scent with neroli blossom, gardenia, of course, and jasmine petals. Ylang Ylang can also come off smelling like jasmine or neroli, adding to an already beautiful smell. This is heavy on the gardenia, but it isn't overpowering the other notes. If you noticed, sandalwood is a favorite base note for Harlem Candle Co. Sims. It's a universal woody note that just works perfectly as a base note. There is coconut milk in the base of this as well that adds a creamy, sweet quality to the scent. I think it's a nice touch to break up some of those florals. Lady Day is a heavy hitter in the floral department. Soft, elegant scent with a rich history. Once this one runs out, I will be buying it again, but in that beautiful ceramic vessel. Harlem Candle Co. actually has two different scents in reference to Billie Holiday. And the second one is very fitting, a holiday scent for the holidays. 
I have not smelled this since I put up my holiday scents until the next season. I almost forgot how strong the cold throw is from this. Caught me by surprise. The holiday season will be here before we know it, so I'm looking forward to burning this again. I also feature this in my pine candle video if you want more details on this particular scent. It's based on Billy's favorite perfume, which was full of a fresh pine scent. And as you can probably guess, this candle is packed full of fresh green pine notes with a hint of eucalyptus, probably one of the closest scents to actual pine. I also wanted this scent in a different vessel than the normal one, so I opted for the nightclub vessel. I just love how the golden color contrasts off the green. Such an elegant pine scent I'm looking forward to burning during the winter holidays. The Harlem Renaissance wouldn't be complete without one of the most exciting, glamorous places known as the Savoy Ballroom. Now, this was before my time, but by the looks of it, it seems like it was the place to be. And the Savoy scent seems to take me exactly to that point in time to experience it for myself. I can almost smell the seductive essence of mandarin, pear, and apple in the air of a packed ballroom. And as the night heats up, the warmth of musk and sandalwood mixes with the crisp fruity notes to create an opulent scent. It kind of smells like a dance between the different notes itself. I didn't think I would like this scent as much, but who am I kidding? It's Harlem Candle Co. I also opted for the scent in the reed diffuser and is kept in my bedroom right now. The scent performance does a pretty good job at just staying in that part of my space. I didn't want a diffuser so strong it fills the entire apartment, clashing with the different candles I have burning. I will be switching it out after a couple of months or so, as I typically do with the diffusers. But that's the good thing about diffusers. You can set them and forget them until you're ready for something different. You do need to flip the reeds or switch them out ever so often for new reeds, but you get the point. The Savoy Ballroom was a very well-known place, but there were these other certain places that weren't so out there and well known. These were clubs hidden behind storefronts that opened up into a different world from the outside. These places were known as speakeasies. If you wanted excitement and thrills, then the dark and intense environment of a speakeasy is where you wanted to be with gambling, dancing, drinks, and cigar smoke that filled the air. Again, before my time, but I would have loved to experience it at least once. I think I was born in the wrong era. I'll just have to settle for the speakeasy scent instead. The bass is heavy in this one. It transports you right into a packed speakeasy with woody palo santo and patchouli mixed with creamy vanilla and dark chocolate. Don't worry, the dark chocolate isn't strong. It just adds to the overall experience. While this candle is burning, the smell of smoked incense and tobacco leaves gives the scent warmth with a slight hint of plum blossom and licorice. It just sounds like a great time. I think it was mostly the thrill of we're not supposed to be doing this during the Prohibition era that gave speakeasies that excitement. Nonetheless, you do what you have to do. It was all fun. I may not have been physically able to experience the Savoy Ballroom or a speakeasy, but I am grateful to experience the interviews and writings of James Baldwin. He has such a profound body of work that is still a big inspiration in today's time. I guess you can say timeless like his book, If Bill Street Could Talk, which is what the love candle is inspired by. When you think of love between two people, most of us would associate it with the delicate smell of roses. This scent does lean more feminine in my opinion, with the strong prominent note of rose demai mixed with elemi and apple. But the famous sound of wood found in the base adds a smoky warm element to the scent, so the rose isn't overly done. But truly, one of the best rose scents I have experienced. I also have this in the 22 karat vessel, which doubles as a cocktail vessel when the wax empties out. This is another scent I'll surely be buying again in the ceramic vessel. And now for the most important candle, Harlem Candle Co has, fired by a prominent point in time for black American culture, the Seneca candle. I made an in-depth video on this scent explaining why this candle was so important to me and the history behind the scent. I will have that video linked in the description. This scent was created in celebration of the Before Yesterday We Could Fly exhibit at the Met. Something Harlem County Co does amazing is making you feel like you're back in time smelling the scent in the air. I don't burn this scent often, but when I do, I'm reminded of just how serene it makes my space feel. It's not an in-your-face scent like with the other scents from this brand. It's gentle in a way with soft black tea, thyme, the incense add just the right amount of smokiness and is rounded off with the light woodiness of vetiver, a beautiful scent to reflect a beautiful point in time for black culture. I still wish this scent was put into one of the beautiful ceramic vessels. It would have made it feel much more special when you went to go light it. Other than that, it's one of my favorite Harlem Candle Co scents. A delicate scent, but an important one. There's still a few more scents I have to get, but if you've been thinking about picking up a scent from Harlem Candle Co, you can't go wrong with any of the candles I mentioned in today's conversation. Let me know your favorite scent if you have have any in your collection. I'm curious to know just how many people will say Langston. It's a huge fan favorite. I love what Terry has done with this brand. These candles make you want to learn more about different points in time of Black American history 
through the power of remarkable sense. Well, that's going to be it for today's conversation. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.